Hello, Internet. My name's Jaffa. How's it going? How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Happy to be here with you all. Welcome to another edition of Mediocre Magic, where I play magic and am mediocre at it. Um, today, uh, I already... I don't know if I'm going to upload the other video that I made or not. Um, it did not go well. Um, I'm experimenting with an old favorite, which if you've viewed the channel at all, which is questionable, you'll know that I have a love affair with this card. Um, I already made a video. It was like sort of a Golgari green ramp, but all I did with the ramp was this thing. Uh, it didn't go well. Um, like really poorly. Really, really poorly. Um, so I do want to try something else. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to return to an old thing. But first, so we're experimenting with Sorcerer's Brood, and that's what we're doing. I love this card. I want to make it happen. And I feel like last time I tried doing an artifact version, this card didn't exist. And I feel like this will help, because it will give me some actual mana to spend on this, right? And then I want to do um, Corridor Monitor, who's kind of free with this. And I want to do, no, 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 what is it called? Witching Well. And I want to do, I mean, I'm going to do the oven. That's going to be my sacrifice outlet. And if I'm doing the oven, then I'm doing the familiar. And I'm going to do Steel Overseer. And I'm going to do, is that the deck? Well, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with this and see what else becomes of it. But I think... I think it's probably that simple. What else? Okay, so if I am in... I need hardly any mana, like colored mana for the deck, so my land base doesn't matter too much. Excuse me, I apologize. Um, what else? I kind of want to see just in this. What hits sacrifice? <sighs> Part of me wants a couple ginger brutes to help get the cat back in certain cases. I have no creature destruction. Where is my... There we go. With that, I probably don't need that. Um, I don't even know if I need four of these. I'm going to try it... I'm trying to think if I should be working in something that's like a spark harvest. Mm-hmm. 
kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm going to toy with this one a bit. But I'm kind of thinking something like that. Um, the goal is obviously to build a small... I mean, but uh, the, right now my major sack outlet is just the cat. But my goal is to get a few... A few broomsticks. Which is going to make the shambling suit big. And then make the army can get bigger with the steel overseers. And then in theory... I can masterful replication to turn all of my broomsticks into one of the the killers. I don't know. I promise if if I don't upload the last video, and I might not cuz it it was riddled with technical issues. I was playing like an absolute moron and the deck was just bad. So I might very well pretend it never happened. I don't need corridor monitor in this deck, do I? I once had like an infinite, well it wasn't infinite, but the old version of this I had the lady who lets me play, She, I should probably have her in this too, frankly, the lady of the lock or whatever. Um, I'm kind of used to that concept because there was sort of an outlet where I would play her which would let me bring one of these back, untap her, and then for two mana I would have gotten, and then I could sacrifice this to get two foods. So for two mana I would get two foods per turn, um, which doesn't sound that good now that I say it, but it did, you know, I would... I'd build a huge bunch of foods and then turn them into something else with Masterful Replication. I don't know. I don't know what in the bejesus I'm doing. Do your thing. Do what you want to do, be you, nothing better. It's Dr. Pepper. All right. I'm going to miss this card when it rotates out. Um, well, that's mean. Even Heartless, you might say. I don't know why you killed that and not the Steel Overseer. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I'm just dead. So that's nice. Ah, uh, maybe not. My client has been acting up today. Like sometimes I click stuff and just nothing happens. I probably would have attacked there, but what do I know? Um, nothing worthwhile is happening, I know that.
Okay. Is this... I don't know what this deck is. Is this just like a death touch destroy all my creatures deck? Because that's a problem for me, but... Not too big of a problem, maybe? I do think this is a deck that has like infinite room for variety, so that's kind of fun. Um, but I'm not drawing anything. What do you do? He did Death Touch Lifelink? Okay. We're at a nice little standstill, at least. That's better than me instantly losing. I mean, I really, I just want my Sorcerer's Broom, and then I'm kind of going to start doing stuff that I want to do. That works, too. He's got a ton of creature destruction. I'm assuming for each of Eliminate and Heartless Act. Everything's got Death Touch. That doesn't bode well for me. But, wow. Four Heartless Act, four Eliminate, and four Murder? And is, is there anything in this deck other than this stuff? Wow. Wow. That is, that is juicy, juicy stuff there. <laughs> this game is going to be so dumb. Okay. We've got some rat stuff. Okay. Um You're not even going to make a rat. Oh man, I don't Mm. This is why I don't like having a lot of land in my decks. Just drawing nothing but land is the worst feeling. He's making a rat. Cool. And I don't have. I didn't end up putting any creature destruction in. So I guess. Like, what am I hoping for here? Ah, uh, I mean, I'm not far off from plays. Like, if I draw. Something like a shambling suit right now. Okay. I didn't, but never can go wrong with cauldron familiar shenanigans. But I don't have any creature destruction, so this guy is gonna, like, if we stay stalemated, he's just gonna start stealing my stuff, and that's a problem. And I forget, does he steal? Why? Why would you do that? Like, you're afraid of my corridor monitor? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's working. 
I've just, I've never seen a deck with this much creature destruction. He's got like 16 single target creature destruction spells. And it's going to work. I'm going to, well, it's going to work, but it's going to take forever. Because I've got the ability to go ahead and gain like 12 life here. Plus once per turn, gaining one plus. Oh god. I'm just gonna no. I'm not gonna because honestly, if I can um like all I really need to do is draw shambling suit and then draw masterful replication. And that will honestly be like a one turn kill at this point, because I have enough mana to play both of those in one turn. And then I will be able to turn all of these into like seven threes. So I'm not going to give up on this. Yeah, there's no reason not to attack, dude. I'm obviously going to block this. Yeah, at any point here, I'm two turns away. Well, except he's going to start stealing my shit. No, I guess it's only creatures that he can steal. I thought it was permanents for a second there. So he's not going to steal my cat, because I can just, in response, sacrifice the cat any time. I do have to be careful about this, because if he steals the cat, I am probably screwed. So I, I can't do it right now. I have to wait till my turn so that I have one of these untapped again. But that doesn't matter. My cat's just a blocker at this point. Oh my gosh. It's going to take forever. See, I'm gaining two life and losing four life each turn, so. And he probably, yeah. There's a rat. <laughs> this is a very dumb game. I'm seeing that I should have some castles. In every other build, uh, like, I've, I haven't drawn a single room somehow. Um, every other build of Broom, I always end up landlocked, so I don't want to... I don't see myself using castles, but in this particular game, castles would be nice for scry and draw. We block. Neutralize that Grim Dancer who's there. He really should have given that Menace, but what do I know? If he'd given this Menace, I would be dead. But this is what our turns look like right now, <laughs> until I can do something different. I gain a life. You lose a life. Suck it. Oh, what a game. What a game. Magic in general. Just what a game. You can't beat this. Alright, my turn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean... There's a legitimate chance that Luna quits because this is just annoying as shit. <laughs> uh, how long do you want to play this, Luna 1005? I mean, 
at the rate I'm doing, I think this is like four more turns and he wins. Assuming I don't get any other defenders, which is looking like I'm not gonna. And even if I get defenders, he's got three creature destruction spells in his hand. Like, literally, that's what he has, because otherwise he'd be casting them. If it was land, he'd be playing them. If it was creatures, he'd be casting them. So he's just got creature destruction in his hand. So even if I pull this off, even if I masterful replicate into something, he's going to destroy three of them. <laughs> I should probably just scoop, but I want to see how this goes. I want to see how much potential this deck has to be a frickin' nuisance. And of course the problem is he's gaining life every turn. Well, I'm I'm slowly chipping away at him, too. Like, realistically, I think I'm doing as much damage to him per turn as he's doing to me per turn. <laughs> Oh, this is so dumb. It is so dumb. I don't have words. Yeah, hit me. Hit me with your best shot, baby. Ooh, okay. I was wrong about the creature spells. I have to start sacrificing these just to gain life, which hurts my ability to win. But at least, again, I'm going to make him sit there and watch me do this for a minute. <sighs> I love cat decks. Though. This is actually really fun for me. I know it's not for anybody else. I know everyone is sick of this cat. And I know that Luna hates this cat right now but this is fun for me the fact that i am sitting here with one cat against two grim dancers a vampire of the dire moon a piper of the swarm and five rats and i'm kind of still in it i love it all right well i can actually do something that's kind of nice Like, honestly, though, even think if I just draw a broom, how much this game changes. Because I will be able to generate, like, five of them in one turn. <sighs> Unless he kills it instantly, which he will. But even then, it'll be kind of hard for him to... No, I guess... It... Yeah. It will be really hard... For him to make it so I don't start cloning brooms if I just draw one. Because if I sack the cat and he responds by attacking the thing, at least one of the triggers will go off. And if I need to sacrifice something else, I can just sacrifice a food to get it going. So I really like, if I just draw a broom, I'm not in terrible shape. Oh, he, he made that one have menace. Got it. Well, he learned something. Uh, we're going to block. We're going to do that so that we don't just immediately die. I'm kind of hoping I can make him quit because the game is annoying. <laughs> but realistically... I'm not joking. Like, I feel like if I draw one broom, and I don't know how I'm not drawing a broom. Um, if I do, it's game-changing. And that's the reason I'm sticking with this, because I want the broom to be game-changing. If I, even if I don't win, if I just get a turn where I get, like, four brooms out and turn this around a little bit, I'm already, like, the, I don't need anything else. Oof, that hurts me.
I think this is my last turn. I can maybe buy one more by sacrificing all of my food, but if I do, then I no longer have anything to hope for. Especially considering he gave this one life link, I didn't even notice that, so I'm definitely not chipping away at him anymore. Because he's gaining four a turn, and then he's gaining another four a turn. Uh, probably screwed no matter what happens, but I'm going to hope for the top deck. Oh, nope, 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 don't do that. He'll steal your cat and it's over. Uh, what, what, what do we get? What do we get here? Soul Guide Lantern. Well. Keeps the draw going. I should probably just make this Guild Globes. Oh, now what will you do? Now you've got nothing, buddy. You buckaroonu. Alright, draw a card. Come on! Oof. Hmm. I guess I can just create two golems. Which is not my intended use of this card, but... And I should do it carefully. Alright, well let's get some life. Get some life. And then think I'm dead. I'm going to get the masterful replication, get a couple golems, but. When I get those golems, he's got creature destruction in his hand. So I'm going to have to... No, I think I'm just going to die. Because I'm going to put my gambit on being able to block one of these guys and at least get one of them out of the way. But he's going to immediately kill them. <laughs> Probably both of them. Just like that. And I'm not even going to do this because, you know, uh, was not able to fight out of this hole. Hmm. Only one was blocked. I don't know. I guess at this point, I'm just going to see how long I can stay alive. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. And I'm taking 13, which means I'm dead. Okay. Technically not. <laughs> okay. I guess at this point my goal is maximum annoyance to, to Luna, so we're going to just go ahead and very barely stay alive. No, I, well, yeah. No, he's got me. Even I can't even get one more turn. GG. Can't even get one more turn. I could get one more turn, but it would involve sacrificing my cat all three times, getting the life to get me back to one, and then he will just steal my cat and thoroughly curb stop me next turn, so... That was bad. Uh, it was funny, though, and I feel like there was some bad luck. 
Um, because honestly, if I had drawn a broomstick or, well, no, it had to be a broomstick. At that point, it had to be a broomstick. But I have four of them. There's no reason why I shouldn't have drawn a broomstick. Um, all right, well, that took forever, as cat decks, cat games sometimes do. This is nothing. This is nothing. I don't want that many lands. Um, what is her name? Emery? I'm torn between this and Spark Harvest, and I think this is the play. Let's try that. We're having fun, right? It's all that really counts. I like the corridor monitor for Steel Overseer and. But I think the Spark Harvest is going to be. I should know what the deck is already, but unfortunately I don't because I'm dumb. Fair enough. Okay. Um, yeah. I'd like one more land. Thank you. Because now I should be able to sneak out two. Ooh, it's all flying. Good thing we have the spark harvests. Um, let's do this. No, wait, I can't do that. I can do this, though. That's kind of entertaining. No answers to flying, but I can spark harvest something. It's going to have to be that. You suck. All right. All right, let's get ourselves an extra room guy here. Sacrifice the broom guy here to get rid of this guy here.
Okay. Problematic. All of these decks, as I'm playing them, I realize that they would be better if I didn't have Sorcerer's <laughs> Room in them. Uh... Oops. I'm assuming that was an oops. Uh, how many? Yeah, let's get some stuff happening here. Cool. Well, we're kind of rolling. I don't have anything to deal with the flyers, so that's a problem. But the deck is doing what I want it to do, so that's nice. It's going to hit me for four. It's not going to attack with that. I can't win this game either, but at least I'm getting some broomsticks. Look at my happy little broomstick fellows. I'm going to make him watch this a few times. My turn. Okay. This is not bad. I don't have anything to deal with the flyers. So I'm just going to die in a couple turns, but... Why? Um, why is this the decks that I'm getting? Just creature destruction. And why would you use it on him? Only going to do one this time. Because then I'm going... Oh, no, I shouldn't have. Okay, fine. I forgot I can't do this right away because she it doesn't have haste. I guess I should just start swinging. I can generate more than two. I can generate two of these a turn, so losing one a turn doesn't really matter too much. <clears throat> I'm back to thinking that. 
I don't know. I don't know how to make this good. I probably just can't. I, I, I'm, you know, I really need to draw a couple spark harvests at this point. Um. I guess I want Plague Crafter. No, I don't want Plague Crafter because it won't be targeted. I don't know. All right, uh, well, I guess that's kind of the best thing we could hope for. Now I can get two brooms and still get something else. I can't, I, I need to kill these. I think the answer, because I don't have enough mana for the Shambling Suit right now, maybe it's this, but I think I'm just going to try to make my army bigger. This is not outside the realm of possibility, but I, I need the Spark Harvests. Because my army is about to start getting bigger. I can buy a couple. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I care about that. Uh, you have to watch these triggers a bunch of times. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I care about that at all. I guess he gets the draw. And then he's got to watch this. This deck is annoying as hell. I have to admit that. This is a deck that I should probably build in paper. Because you won't have to watch all the all the triggers. And this isn't <laughs> even me. This is kind of aggravating, but it's a cat deck. But you have to watch seven times as many triggers. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, however. I do this, get my get some life here. All I need to do is draw masterful replication and I win. Because I'll be able to turn this one, two, three. Now I need one more land. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think I just went to life. Like, I actually think there's a chance we win this. I don't know. Am I, am I crazy? Am I a crazy talker? I can gain three life a turn. Just by emerying and then sacrificing the 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 I can, so per turn I can gain three life and draw a card for four mana. 
That's actually going to kill him now. I might be good. This might be the game that I go, yeah, we did it. I mean, if you can't deal with the steel overseer. Okay. Actually, I just win, right? Am I wrong? Seven. Do I just win? You have life link. Shit. Okay. Well, I already started this, so we'll start with this. I'm attacking for seven. No, I think I still win. Because watch. I attack. It's going to let me do this, right? I'm attacking for 32. Or no, 28. Yeah. No, I don't just win. It's close. I almost just win. Yeah, I win! Because I just... You don't get to lifelink. Booyah! This is so good! I'm so happy right now! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. I don't even care. We've got the one win. Um... That's all I needed in my life, was the one win. Um, it was against a janky weird deck that was... The Skyblade? I mean, I didn't see that coming. Um, but it worked. I don't care. I don't care. This video's already been going on for like 45 minutes. We're just going to call it. <laughs> we, um, we attacked with our army of dudes, and it worked, and we won. Um, for right now... That is my lot in life. That is all I needed. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to keep tweaking this because I think there's, I mean, I don't know. This as a concept with all the artifacts that are in standard right now, it just has infinite room for variety. Um, I don't know what I would want to take out necessarily. Like I almost feel like I don't want this, but I think it's, um, I think it's necessary because I can't guarantee I'll draw what I need. Like, these games have worked because I've gotten almost really unlucky and drawn a ton of land. Um, I think I need these as a backup plan to be able to afford the broom. Then again, like, the deck is inexpensive. Part of me almost thinks this should be village rights. Anyways, more on that later. Um, <clears throat> I kind of like the village rights. I'm gonna do that and 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 see what what happens next time. Um, but uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, we're gonna see. We're that was one for two. I know it wasn't a very good video, but. Um, 48 minutes. I don't think I can keep your attention much longer. So we'll do a part, a part three at some point. Um, see what happens and, um, peace out. Love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane.